lost it for real and he was like, this isn't Pop Pop, this is a goddamn computer. <laughs> I, was in tr- I thought we were in trouble. He did not like that joke. <laughs> did not like it. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't know he heard it, so it really, really took me by surprise. <laughs> like, I know how to use a computer. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> when you get real, actual angry Rich, that's scary. Hey, there whoa, he is. Whoa, right. whoa. Where's Rich? I know. Wow. I still have the beard, guys. I have the filter on the be- to oh shave my, my beard. God. God. It's kind of freaking us out because of your <laughs> naked face. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, I mean, you you raised those beautiful kids. I mean, those kids are like beams of light. They walk in the room and like the room gets lighter. And like, that's, I know. that's all you. you know what I mean? Paul, I was so ready for a Fitzgerald moment there where you're like, you raised those beautiful angels set here on earth. You're not even the natural father. And yet you think everything you had to do. I was so ready for that moment. I don't like to bring that up. I don't like to bring it up in front of Bobby. Is he off the Zoom right now? I can't receive. Rich, don't bring that up in front of Bobby. <laughs> It don't matter who, who's who's you know junk made the made the baby like it's everyone it's who loves the kid you know what I mean like don't matter yeah. um, nurture over you, nature yeah, yeah, exactly. it don't matter exactly. who's junk made the baby bitch it don't yeah. matter who's junk <laughs> somebody gave your wife a gift you weren't there for the opening of the package that doesn't matter <laughs> you get to enjoy the presents West Nile got your daddy that's why I always tell uh, Calvin and Audrey I say listen West Nile got your daddy, daddy. <laughs> Paul and I uh, about uh, fifteen. 20 years ago when there was the West Nile scare, which sounds like a joke now because, you know, it's nothing compared to what COVID's been. But people did die from West Nile. I mean, we had to take sorry. a minute to acknowledge West Nile virus was a real thing. But we and sorry. I got into this funny little rant about that, <laughs> that Molly, my, my then wife, was going to kick me out of the house. And when I came back, <laughs> my kids would answer the room and they wouldn't recognize me. And I'd say, they go, who are you, mister? And I'd say, I'm your daddy. And they're like, West Nile got my daddy. Like, <laughs> like, like they told them this lie that the West Nile killed their father. And then Paul would show up. The door would open a little more and Paul would go, run along now, children. Run along upstairs. Run along upstairs. Run along upstairs. Run along upstairs. What you want, Bobby? What you like, want, Bobby? We're all good here. <laughs> don't do this to everybody. You know, <laughs> you don't want it here anymore. You, West you, because Bobby, you told me that story. I've, I've heard that story and every time it's hilarious. I think you worked that into your stroke recovery as well when you had the stroke. You're like, part of what drove you to recover so well and you did beautifully yeah. was knowing yeah. that Paul was this close to stepping in. And oh, yeah. Him. No, it was a <laughs> desperation to try to keep the marriage together. And it was going to be like, Paul, I've, I've recovered from the stroke. You've done beautiful work, Bobby. We go live somewhere else now. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You look great, man. You know what? There's a, there's a woman out there or a man or a day or someone's going to love you. It is not Molly, unfortunately. Carry on, Bobby. <laughs> 